friends, it's Jackie, and I was on here yesterday um, showing you my latest flip through, my Dilusions journal, and if you watched the end of that video, you would have seen that I had this Muji binder that I was thinking about altering, and after I filmed that video, I just kind of sat down and got to work on it, and so now I have another project to show you today. I wanted to show you what I did with that binder. Um, so in my stash, I have had the Fancy Pants Office Suite collection for, I think I've been hoarding it since 2014. It's one of my favorite collections ever because it's got this fresh feel. It has like tabs and craft and gold, which are my three favorite things. And it has like this kind of school supplies feel to it. And that felt like really natural to pa pair with that Muji craft binder, which also had kind of a school supply feel to it. So I thought I'd put them together. Um, this is just a little kit that comes with eight pieces of patterned paper and they're like textured and they're lovely. It comes with some gold foil, um, an alpha sheet, um, if you can see it there. It comes with an alpha sheet and some die cuts. So um, let me show you my binder. Here it is. I have left my heart in so many places. Something about that resonated with me and I really liked it. Um, so yeah, I just took the Muji binder and I covered it with patterned paper. I used matte medium to attach it and I find that um, keeps it from you know, there's no chance of it coming off again. It's not going to accidentally lift like it would if you used tape. And you can kind of see the um, dots from the binder. They show through. Um, and then I've got this little die cut um, that's going to go right here. Once I figure out the title of the book, I'll write it on the spine as well. But I want to be able to write on the tag and then stick it on. I don't want to stick it on first. Um, and so the purpose of this book is to be a writing book for me to cover any details that don't fit in my Dilutions journal, because I've showed you guys before, I'll just grab it. Um, these pages get jam-packed. I can barely fit any information on them to squeeze a whole week of activity. So I just thought for my overflow writing, it'd be a nice place to, to put some things down. And I haven't figured out exactly how it's gonna work, but uh, at least I've got a book now. <laughs> so you can see it's pretty chunky already. I filled it up with um, writing paper. And um, here's the inside. So I just put down some more patterned paper and um, there was this little if found return to owner tag. So I stuck that on there and I'll put my information. And then I use the um, graph paper, Muji paper that um, goes along with this binder with the million rings. Um, and I just washied the edges with coordinating colors to the paper pad, just greens and yellows and teals and pinks and gold. And I added some rose gold in there too. So lots of washi paper. I just did that while I watched TV last night. It doesn't take too long. I, I find it relaxing. And then I had a little bit of paper left over, so I covered the chipboard dividers. I think they look really pretty, and I'm thinking I'll probably do like scrapbook layouts on these and um, use them in that way. And I'll just kind of distribute them through the writing pages as I go, wherever they feel like they fit. So that's those. So yeah, I have this wonderful writing book, and then I've got tons of stuff left over in the collection I'm gonna use in it. So first of all, it came with these punch-out alpha sheets, and they're a little tricky to move because they'll come right out. But um, I've got two pages of these, so I can do some big titles if I want. Um, I've got a few scraps of paper left from the collection, so I'll find ways to incorporate those. And it came with, it, it must've come with 100 die cuts. So I put them all in this little iris container, um, but there's like this, there's all kinds of gold pieces, there's all kinds of craft pieces, and there's just all these tags and labels and like some icons like flowers. There's a pretty one. Just all kinds of goodness in there that I'm going to use in there. And then there's um, journaling cards too, and they come in the squares sizes and they come in your standard three by four and I don't know there must be 50 of these here there's a lot of them um, yeah so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna use this book yet but once I've got a few pages in it done I'll come back on and show it to you and yeah this is my Muji binder <laughs> It's gonna be fun. I love a new journal. It's so fresh and full of potential. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show it to you. Thanks for watching.